All right, let's kick this thing off by combing through all the hair, getting it nice and lift it off of the scalp. Next, we're gonna take our wall one guard and smooth everything out. Get a nice, even, consistent level. Next, we're gonna take our trimmers and create that first ball line. All right, now the first step, we're gonna take our wall seniors, open them all the way up and create that first section. Then we're gonna go halfway close and do trigger play in between to get that blend just right. And everything we do on one side and in the back, we'll do to the other. And in this tutorial, I'll only be showing you the back and one taper, one side of the taper to keep the video short. All right, next we're gonna take that number one guard, open it all the way up and create the next guy line. Take that clipper, that one guard, close it up and smooth all of that out. Now I'm gonna grab my half guard, open that all the way up. Then we'll go halfway, then close. Using trigger play in between to get that blend just right. And as you see, it's all coming together. Then finally, I'll take that one and a half guard and catch the peak of the fade. Repeat those same steps on the side. Create that first guideline, clipper open. We're gonna go halfway, close, trigger play in between. Now we got the one guard all the way open. Create that next guideline. Boom, grab that half guard, open that all the way up, then halfway, then close. We're gonna do some pick blending or cornering as some people like to call it. Go in, attack any dark spots that we see. Smooth everything out. Do the same thing on the next side. All right, here what I'm doing is I'm gonna add a little blend to the top of the beard because I don't like for it to just come to a point or, or just be harsh at the top. So we're gonna add a nice little transition pretty much using the same method. We're gonna take our half guard, come underneath that with the one guard, then come underneath that with the half guard and open. Using trigger play and getting everything right. Next, we're gonna put a line on the back of that taper. Now when you're lining up the back, be sure to keep that line as natural as possible. You do not want to take that line in too much. It's nice, sharp, and clean. Get behind that ear. And when you're lining up behind the ear, you want to always ensure that you are not white walling the client. And what that means is that you want to keep that line natural and not take it too high to where it's over the ear. That's what white walling is. That's the OGs like to call it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
Now, as I'm looking in my mirror, I can kind of see where I put in that initial trimmer line. So I take my trimmers to go back and get that line out. I kind of lost focus here, but you get the point. All right, now for this lineup. How I like to do my lineups is I like to do the side post first, make a line in the middle, and just kind of connect the dots. As I'll let you see here. Making sure I comb all of those hairs forward, get any overhang to ensure my client has a nice, clean, crisp hairline. Before we add enhancements. Now for enhancement, my preference is I like to use color first and then come over top with hair fibers. I'm gonna clean up this beard, keep those lines natural, give it a little bit of shape. Top of that line just a little bit I like to do the majority of the beard work with the razor Clean up that mustache. Add a little bit of beard oil, give it a natural shine, natural softness, and create a moisturizer for me to glide that razor on. Yo, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping and checking me out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and stay updated. We drop videos every week. Now when I use the razor on the hairline, I like to go down first and then come against the grain. Get that line up as crisp and clean as possible.
life. And there you pretty much have it. Clean that beard up a little bit more. Get all those loose ends. Get the loose ends on the top. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Stay updated. We drop videos every week. And if you think this video could help somebody, be sure to share it. Nice clean cut right there. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.